today's tutorial is going to be based around WordPress. If your website has lots of posts and you'd like to organize them by an A to Z filter list, this tutorial is for you. Okay, let's dig in. So to kick off this tutorial, I'm going to create a template called az-template.php. Then we'll give our template a name of A to Z filter. And then pop in our WordPress header, footer and HTML markup. Once our template page has been made, we'll pop back into the backend and create a new page to house our filter. Once we've given the page a name, all we need to do is to attach the template file we've just created and publish the page. A quick peek on the front end to see that the template file is attached and it looks good. So now we can begin the fun part by coding up the filter. I'm going to create a custom loop to pull in all of the posts that I want to show, in my case tutorials. You'll have to tweak this options array for your own needs. Next, I'll create a WP query object called tutorial posts with the filter array we just created. And then an empty array called posts array. This will hold the first character of each post name. Then we just need to run our custom loop. Add each post name to our post array, or should I say the first character, because we're using brackets with a zero index to pull this in. Then I'm just going to use the PHP function str to lower to make all of the characters lowercase. A quick fire dump to check that we're pulling in only the first character. And great, now we can move on to the next part. Here is where we will build the unordered list. I'll create an array called alphabet array and use the range function to generate characters A to Z. Then create our unordered list called A to Z. The first item in our list is going to be a number, so I'll use a hash symbol. Then loop through our alphabet array with our characters A to Z with a for each loop and output each letter. A quick look on the front end to see that we've got all of our characters and now we can move on. Let's style our list of characters. Now we just need to make the list nice and pretty. Big improvement. Now we have our styled A to Z list, but we need to show which characters are available to interact with. The first thing I need to do here is to check if any posts begin with a number. So we're going to create a number array. And again, we're going to use the range function to generate the characters zero to nine. And then use the array intersect function to check if any of the characters are numbers in our posts array. If there is a number in our posts array, we're going to add a class of active to this and we can highlight this later in our CSS. I will also add a custom data attribute called letter. This will be used a little bit later on. Now, if any of our posts begin with a number, it will have an active class. Now let's pop back into our for each loop and add the active class to available letters. And again, we are going to add a custom data attribute called letter to each list item. Now the active class will be added to available numbers and letters. We just need to style this in our CSS to make it stand out. Much better. In this part, we're going to create a new unordered list called posts results and a second WordPress loop. And here we're going to list all of our tutorial posts. I'm going to reuse the tutorial posts object from earlier on. I'm going to create a variable called I with a value of minus one and this will be our counter for our while loop. 
The reason why it's minus one and not zero is because PHP arrays are zero index based and this syncs everything up when the loop starts running. Okay, firstly, we're going to check if any posts are numeric. If they are, we're going to add the hash symbol again to the data letter attribute. Now, just a quick note here, I don't actually have any tutorials that begin with a number, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I've created a test tutorial called three CSS tips. And back to our if else statements, if a post is not numeric, we will add in the letter to our data attribute. A quick refresh and we can see all of our posts in one list. Let's clean this list up and add some padding and a border. Okay, looking pretty good. We're going to create some JavaScript to add in the filtering next, but first we need to create some CSS. To first of all, hide all of our posts. To create a show class to show each post. And then we'll create a current class that will make this selected item in our A to Z list pink. In our main.js file, we're first going to create two variables, initial first letter and posts results li. The initial first letter variable is going to get the data letter attribute of our first item in our A to Z list that is active. Then upon load of the page, we're going to use the initial first letter variable to show posts that begin with this character. We'll also add the current class to the first available A to Z character. At this point, I have already removed the test post, three CSS tips. So the first available character is A. A quick peek with the inspector, and we can see that each data letter has its own individual letter. Now we need to make the A to Z list interactive and allow users to filter posts by character. This should be fairly self-explanatory, but to go over quickly, we've declared a click first jar variable we're adding a click event handler, so when a user clicks on one of the characters in our A to Z list, all of our posts become hidden. We remove the current class. We save what character was clicked to our click first char variable. Then we add the current class to whatever character was clicked. And then we'll show the posts that matched what character was clicked. A quick refresh on the front end to make sure everything is working. And we can move on to adding two more features to wrap up this tutorial. The first is an option to show all posts. And the second is to show what character is being displayed. And here I'm creating the markup. And then, as you can see, we just need to style this. I've basically just used floats to left and right align these features. Now these features are in place, we just need to pop back into our JavaScript file to add this functionality. I'll declare three new variables. Title showing, which will show what character is being displayed. AZ underscore LI, which will target every list item in our A to Z list. And title show all, which will target the show all elements. Then upon load of the page, we will add the initial first letter to our title showing elements. Then down here in our click event handler, we will assign the title showing elements to that of the character that was clicked. And then make sure our title show all element is displayed. The final few bits to tie up are as follows. We need to add a click event handler to the title show all element that shows all posts, appends the word all to our title showing elements, removes the current class from all A to Z list items, and hides the title show all elements. And there you have it, a pretty easy way to show your WordPress posts by using an A to Z filter. Well, that's it from me. If you'd like to help the channel out, please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video.